<laughs> He's fucking guys. So okay, let me let me let me, let me put this in the learning side. My man just made a show called something about mocking man on the trains. I don't know how a man's mocking me for driving trains. I'm not mocking you for driving trains. I'm not mocking you for being an engineer. In fact, an engineer is a good job. I'm mocking you because you're a twit, bro. And what you said on there confirmed you're a twit, bro. The man to come in there with a serious art subject and you're talking about, well, I, 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 I stop thinking, trying to cover your own end. Just shut up, bro. Like, I don't care about you that much and I really hope you don't care about me that much. You was being clever, I was being clever back. And for all those people that get this misconstrued, no. What I meant to say, and now it was my bad because I shouldn't have said it the way I said it. What I meant to say is, how is a man that works a nine to five laughing at money? Because no one should be laughing at money, bro. Money's hard to obtain. I employ people, I give out jobs. That's what I meant. You're laughing at a man that gives out jobs. With a man who's trying to make me look like an idiot and you know what he's doing and you're, you're, you're so, so I said what I said. But now you want to make a whole show. So no, there's no disrespect to people that work nine, for nine to fives. In fact, my disrespect, you know my thing, you've listened to my music for the last 10 years. It's all the fake trappers, I can't, I can't do, do my head in. And on to your mate. Like, all that passive-aggressive save, all that, bro. All that, I, get, I phoned him, I gave him the chance. No, you didn't, bro, because that's why we had the fucking, that's why I bombed out the next day, bro. Because you, you went and done the interview without no, without no questions, and that's why I bombed out. Because all the questions you asked me, not what I asked. And I said to him, pounds, please don't do it if you're not going to ask him the right questions. And you knew that's what I said. So as a man's not a liar, here we are. Did I say to you, please don't, do, don't put him on the show without the right questions, bro? I did, and you still went and done it, didn't you? So that, now, now you're telling all them lies. It's come to my conclusion that these lot are the same as everyone else. So on that note, just drop me out, bro. Your little industry games and your little industry mates and your little, you know, vining for chump change and going to the rap parties and all that. Say all that. It's great. great. And all that right side of the history. You need to learn some law, my nigga. Like you need to pick up a law book about copyrights and about the realities of the music business and then start talking about the right side of history because the right side of history is coming, bro. And it's definitely not what you think it is. It's done in reality, my nigga. Not in parties. <laughs> but anyway, so... Like, just leave me alone, please. Leave me the fuck alone. Keep keep your world to you and leave me in mine. And we don't have any place that we meet in the middle. This isn't a debate between me, you, Doug, Rashid. This isn't that. This isn't even a debate between me and Rashid. Now, if any of you want to stop your little hating, passive-aggressive dickhead selves, you'll find out. And my man, you got my phone. You, you got my phone number, pal. You can call me. It's not a problem. You could have done that the whole way. No problem. But we're not mates. We don't like each other. So please stop, because you're just going to make this go somewhere it doesn't need to go. You know, like that. So please, just leave it alone, bro. Keep my name out of your mouth. Even his little mopey face on the thing. Best of luck to him. Hope the, the crowd, hope, you know, hope he'll feel better about himself. You know, don't feel bad. You're working nine to five. There's no problem with that, bro. Just because I said something, which is the truth. Don't feel bad now. Just crack on. Show the kids the right thing. And to all you kids, the, the kids, what I want you to realize, all these guys doing podcasts as well, they're not here to help you do nothing because they don't know nothing to help you. They don't know anything. Like, this is a prime example, I'm telling you, they don't know anything, bro. They're here because they realize the kids like older guys talking stuff. And all these people giving people credit for knowledge that any basic human being should have. Cool. If you want them to be your leaders, Go, but them so-called leaders you don't have, please, leave me alone, because we're in different worlds, we do different things, we experience different lives. All right, please, enjoy your life.